What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little test and review on this Harbor Freight solar battery charger. This is the one and a half watt. If you guys are new to my channel, please do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell, that way you can get all my new videos. All right, let's get to this one. Okay, so here is the panel. It comes with a cord with an attachment, quick connect, and then you've got two attachments. It has one cigarette lighter adapter with the connector, and then it has alligator clips to clamp directly to your battery. Problem with this is most cars, when you hook this up to the cigarette lighter, most cars don't have power going to the vehicle when the car is off, so if you wanna use this, you'll probably have to wire up your cigarette lighter onto a switch so that you can switch it on and off to leave it on when you have this plugged in. Let's go ahead and put the alligator clips on. And right here, there's a little indicator LED light that flashes whenever it's getting some sort of a light to the panel. It does come with a couple suction cups. Just put them in the hole on each side and slide it up or down. Now we're gonna do a couple tests with our multimeter. I'll go ahead and put links down in the description to all the tools and supplies I'm using today for you guys. And I've got alligator clips on the multimeter. We'll just go ahead and clip positive red to red and negative black to black. I've got the panel in the sun. We'll go ahead and click the multimeter on and we're going to be testing the amperage first. And I'll go ahead and angle that to the sun to get a better angle. We're only running 0.01. Sometimes it bumps up to 0.02 amps. So that's only about 15 to 20 milliamps. And that's almost nothing because the current draw on a modern car is gonna be somewhere around under 50 milliamps. My car runs around 40 to 50 milliamps. So this wouldn't even cover the draw of a modern vehicle from sitting. Now if you have an older vehicle or something that doesn't have any draw on it when it's sitting, I wouldn't consider this a battery charger with this low of performance. This would be more of a maintainer. You'd wanna charge your battery up fully with a regular battery charger and then put this on if you're only going to be getting that that's almost nothing let's go ahead and also we're going to test the volts see what kind of volts it's putting out because i have heard of these things putting out more volts than a car battery so you don't really want to run that if it's going to be putting out a ton of volts because it can actually damage your battery you can put a charge controller in line with this to limit the voltage i have checked out some other panels on amazon with better reviews these uh, harbor freight as you know harbor freight is kind of hit and miss you could i've already had a couple of these and it's just kind of hit or miss with a lot of their products like this sometimes it'll work great sometimes it won't work at all right out of the box or sometimes it may only work for a short time and then fail. It's just the way they're manufacturing things nowadays, it seems. All right, it's been a couple minutes. We're running really high. Look at that. It's running almost 16 volts. Look at that. It's vacillating to almost 16 volts. On a 12 volt battery, you only want a max of maybe around 14.2 volts. So this would be putting out too many volts for a regular 12 volt battery. Um, now this is in direct sunlight. We're gonna be putting this inside behind the glass and that's gonna actually reduce this. So we'll go ahead and test that too. Okay, I've got it mounted on the windshield through the glass now and the amperage, we're getting nothing. So that light is probably taking as much as it's drawing in. That's good, the voltage is down since it's not perfectly angled. Okay, if you flip around the panel to the back side, there's all these little covers that are over screw holes. And if you take a razor blade, we can go ahead and peel these little covers off. And then you're gonna wanna get one of these small pocket screwdrivers with the Phillips bit on it. And we're gonna take all these Phillips screws out just with our fingers and get to the guts of it. Does look like they've put some sealant around these. Now I do wanna note that these aren't rated to be outside in the weather, like in the rain or anything. If you wanted to try to make this work for the weather, I suggest uh, putting a nice bead of silicone around this outer edge and then closing it all up. And then probably putting a little bead around the panel in the front as well. That would probably get you some more mileage out of using it outside. That and maybe covering it with some sort of heavy clear plastic. Okay, so this is what I wanted to get to, the little LED light. There's two wires coming out of it right here. We take our wire cutters. We're just gonna clip one of those wires, disconnect that. 
LED won't be taking any of our panel and we can retest it to see. Okay, well it made absolutely no difference with that little indicator light cut and off. It's still only pulling in 15 to 20 milliamps, which is just not gonna cut it for this. I'm not sure if I got a dud or what, but if you go and check the reviews on these things online, they're horrible. Uh, one out of every 10 seems like they've had good experience and the rest are either worked for a day or two and broke or a lot of them are even saying that it pulled a draw from their battery and their battery was more dead than before so i'm not going to recommend you guys buying this unless you just feel like rolling the dice maybe you'll get lucky maybe you can do a test and it'll work for you but do know that before i'll go ahead and put a link to a better one in the description that i went ahead and checked out the reviews on it's a little bit bigger panel so it should put out more all right guys and that's it that is the review on this piece of junk from harbor freight if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and click the notification bell that way you can get my new videos thanks for watching johnny diy keep on doing it yourself guys take care